And the last job is XLR cable. Which is not exactly beauty related. Middle pin's good. That is not good. Where it's meant to be. So that one connects to the one basically on the opposite side. So that's one. Yeah, one and one is good. Two and two is not good. This ends loose, so whether someone's pulled it apart at this end, or whether there's even a wire connected there, we'll soon find out, I guess. This one's earth. There's definitely three three pins there. And which ones were good and which ones are bad? So three goes to what the middle one is the blue wire. Yep. One is that shielded wire, and the other one must be this red wire. Yeah, interesting. Well, it seems to be connected right at this end. Doesn't mean there isn't a break somewhere in the cable. So this will have to undo the other end. Come on, off you come. Yeah, damn, it looks alright at this end as well. <laughs> Just a bit annoying. So it's probably a case of cutting the plugs off both ends and resoldering them and... Or cutting one end off and then the other. And trying to find which one has the break in it. Well, this one was the originally dodgy looking end but that doesn't mean much we haven't got a break in the cable all this place are looking to see if there's any cuts or anything before you waste your time with the ends it's interesting that this one sticks out so much it makes me think it is broken but that's just the way it's made I think about all I can do is the old chop off 100 mils Strip it back and try again. See if we get a connection. And if this end doesn't work, we can try the other end. If that doesn't work, then we've got to break some random spot in the cable. And it may not be worth the bother. Because even if you find the break, you may have a half length cable when you do or whatever, so it might not be much good for its original purpose anyway. No, damn it. Others are definitely still intact. So that's pretty annoying. It's unlikely to be in the middle of the cable anyway, but it does happen. I used to look for any places where it looks like it's been badly kinked or used a lot. No real sign of it. So I guess the only other option is to chop this end off and try the same trick. Come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's one of them like a coaxial cable, which I guess with this decent quality audio cable it should be. Makes it a bit annoying to get it apart though. I thought it was just wrapped around loosely, but like I say, if it's decent quality, I guess they don't want to make sure it can't come apart and leave gaps or anything. Not earth it properly. Ah, so it was that end. But now that the red wire back, I say usually the old 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter each end trick works. Get on that one. Yep, blue wire's good. So, so somewhere in that little piece of cable here. Now always remember to put your. Probably should have done that before I stripped it. Put your um, covers, boots, whatever they are off your connectors on first because it's a real pain when you solder everything up and then realise you stuffed it up and you've got to take it all apart again to fit the cover on not the end of the world because most of the work's in the stripping and messing around in the first place anyway but getting the links right and everything but still better if you don't have to do it one of the tricks of the trade that you have to learn is once you've done it a few times you get in the habit of always putting that bit on first because you're guaranteed to forget it if you don't so we should be able to wrap that up together I'm sure this was super short. I don't know if you unwrap it a bit, it's not so bad. I probably could have done a neater job of that, to be honest. So that comes out to about that length there. And it would have paid to turn the soldering iron on. And I guess these are going to be the same sort of length. about there somewhere easier to do with the big ones also easier to cut it off accidentally but once you get the feel for it get rid of all this cotton packing stuff to start with try not to get too much heat in these wires because often the plastic will peel back but this does look like a pretty good quality cable PMW 101 high performance OFC signal cable doesn't really say who made it but certainly feels up to musician sort of quality solder on these to make them easy to desolder. So those red and blue, I might just do those two first so I can't mess them up. Get a bit of solder on the tip. Red, making sure your solder sets well and truly before you move anything. This will take a little while to set on these pins normally if you the slower you are at soldering the longer it will take because the more heat you put in I'm fairly quick I might make that one just a tad shorter maybe tin it back a little further so all the little bits are held together for 100% sure don't want any stray wires that can short onto one of the signals and earth that out that'll be just as bad as having a broken lead again go away 
found some more solar. They didn't know what put an awful lot of solder on this to start with. So the connectors haven't been tinned up the best. Whoops, that moved on me. Oh, starting to feel that a bit. First, anyway, that'll help. That'll home itself in there once we screw this other bit on. Ooh. Get that home. Chuck that bit of wire away. So that's should be able to find. Might be able to just connect to this. So it's a red wire. Go away, blue wire. And I can just get to the copper on the end of it. And yeah, we have nothing. Blue wire. Oh, we still have nothing. Come on, am I touching that? Possibly not. There it is. So, yep, yeah, that was definitely the faulty bit of cable. What's this blue thing? Just some sort of marker or something, I guess. And we'll repeat the same on this side, try and separate all the copper out. Probably could even cut a bit of this copper off, you don't need all of it. Try and get it sort of opened up. I found a small screwdriver will help pick it apart a bit. So you can get it right back to the, the sheath there and get it fairly tidy. And then get all this cotton muck out of the way. If you cut a few strands of copper off with it, doesn't really matter. As long as you've got a decent amount there, this turns out to be quite a thick cable if you keep all of it. And yeah, remove any loose bits of copper. Twisting up nice and tight, making sure you get rid of all the little loose strands, they're all tied up in that. And any other bits might need even snipping off if there's a couple of bits that have escaped and have broken off or whatever. But that should be far enough back. Well, this one we want a similar length again, back to about there somewhere. Tin that. Those wires want to be the same sort of length. I've probably made that a bit too long. Have oh, by the time it's on the connector, now that's about right. Maybe a tad long. Take a little bit off there. Yeah, perfect. I guess they want to be about the same length there somewhere. Maybe a little bit longer than the other one. twisting together you can really just solder them as they are but at least it ensures any loose bits are all tied together before you even start soldering there's no stray strands this one's basically the opposite way around compared to looking at the other one out you come Blue in the middle. I'll leave the earth on for now. Just so I can't possibly stuff it up. Since I know blue's the middle, something, bit of flux or something, making a funny noise there. Bubbling away, and remove our earth. 
this. Come on. There we go. That nice and molten, and we should be able to poke that right down in there a bit. That's it. Get my finger away so I don't burn it. Beautiful. I guess we should really test it at this stage, but I'm fairly confident that'll be right. So one at the bottom down, one is the left one, two is the right one. Yeah, which way around does this go? Any particular way? Oh yeah, it's got a slot. Yeah, a little lump there and a slot in the bottom there. So it can only go one way, that won't rotate in there, good. I think that's yeah, just a blue marker or label holder or something. How can we get, oh, this is actually cracked. Yeah, it's actually split, that's annoying. Yeah, I don't know if we can get a replacement for that, or do I just put a cable tie around it? I guess the first thing we'll do is check that we fixed it. And we might just have to glue that to back together or something. So two is there, and two I said was that one, was it? Other one. <laughs> yeah, one was the left. Yeah. Two's good. One's good, ground's good, and I guess just make sure nothing's shorted to anything else. Never hurts in case there's a strand of wire or something in there. And yeah, that's a bit annoying. But bound to happen with this sort of stuff. I don't, that is just such a flimsy. I think we're just gonna have to tape that with a bit of, if I can find my black insulation tape. Just wrap some of that nice and tightly around there and hopefully that'll get it to hold into the threads all right. Probably won't, but it's the only other option is getting a whole new plug for it. Yeah, it's not going to hold it tight enough, I don't think. It's not too bad, but... That's a bro oh wow, that actually, that's actually screwed up. I'll be buggered. That's actually screwed up and it's sort of, it does still, when you go past a certain point it does come loose. It does pop again, but that's, that's good enough for most general use, I think, to pull that in and out. I guess ideally we'd get rid of that blue thing and... Well, that's probably how they identify which cable goes where. This one's starting to split as well, so... Not a very good design, so nice cable, but... Poor quality plugs on it. But anyway, that should fix that lead for now. And I'll keep you happy with that. Thanks for watching.